you guys what's happening. So, I have an alternator that is failing on me. Almost 150,000 miles, and uh, so I think it's done pretty good. Failing alternator makes kind of a whining sound. Almost sounds like a power steering pump going out. But the telltale sign that you have an alternator that's going bad is the smell. And I can smell it. It's burning bad. So, I've already called the dealer. And tomorrow morning I will be dropping the car off. It is covered under my warranty. But I figured that before I do that, I'd go ahead and give you a start so that you can hear what it sounds like when you've got an alternator going bad. So, nothing too special. Let's go ahead and get it started up. So right now, the smell is so bad. Basically, the alternator is failing. And uh, I'm gonna be shutting it down here and I won't drive it again until I take it to the dealer tomorrow morning. But uh, whenever you start to hear that and you start to smell that burning electronic smell, I highly recommend you look and see what's wrong because if you let this go, there's a possibility for a fire. There's also a possibility that the uh, alternator will seize up on you and it'll destroy your belt. And then you're going to be stranded on the side of the road. So you don't want that. So, like as I said, this is fortunately covered under my warranty. I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera inside the car and I'll show you another telltale sign that your alternator is failing. Okay, so I'm in the car right now and... You can see here that at idle, I'm only running at 12.63 volts, which normally I wouldn't be too concerned about. However, I normally run at about 13 volts flat, 13 and a half um, on a cooler day. Uh, so this is already telling me, and I don't have any accessories on right now, I've got nothing on. So this is already telling me that the alternator is failing. Now watch when I rev it up just a little bit. You see how slow the volts come up? They should be going right up to about 14, 14 and a quarter, almost right away, and they're not. It's real slow. And then you'll see it fall back down to um, uh, 12.5 or so. So that is another telltale sign that your alternator is failing. You can see how much it's coming down, and it should not be like that. Believe me when I say it shouldn't be like that. I've driven this car for years. Had a, uh, I've had a Grand Prix for about seven years now, and it does, it never does this. So my alternator is failing. It is basically toast, and I'm going to be driving it to the dealer to have it replaced under warranty. But this video hopefully gives you an idea of what a failing alternator is, at least on a Grand Prix. It's probably different on a lot of vehicles, but. You can see it's coming down even more. I did have a charging uh, system failure uh, earlier when I was sitting at a light. So, but of course I had the uh, the air conditioner on and and so on. So it was drawing more. But uh, anyway, uh, hopefully this helps anyone who uh, might be interested in looking for a failing alternator. Take care, guys.